it's 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 quite a interesting mix. Uh, I was I was speaking with David, the jury president, and he he mentioned when Adfest started, our category took literally three different juries and a week, and it's and it's just a sign of times of how it's completely evolved, and now we're squeezing almost everything into a two day session. The good thing is film is still film. I mean, you can't get away with that. Uh, print, unfortunately, the trend has been on the decline so far, even from the, the number of entries we're seeing in that site. We expect too much of traditional media, whether it's print, whether it's uh, radio in itself. You know, a radio, sometimes a conventional radio could come in, and then when you hear it, and that's it, it it's just the interaction between the radio and the consumer. But sometimes we expect too much of it, and, and as juries, we have to catch ourselves. We're like, okay, is that it? Is that the only thing a radio does? It's supposed to just entertain you. And there were discussions about should we rename the radio category to a subcategory to conventional radio? So that even the expectations from a jury standpoint is, is very... And also for creatives, like you, you don't have to overthink oh, my radio needs to save a life. You know, like this audio does this. So I think that sometimes there's that unfair expectation on a traditional media. It's a measure of how strong your idea is. So if it's doing well in a very traditional format, whether it's a film, whether it's print, you know you have a strong idea. And they built a giant pot to promote a Netflix cooking show. So, and it's, it's one of those things where you, you sell to a client, what if to promote the show, we start cooking people inside the pot and give them a memorable experience. And it was humorous, it was funny. It, it didn't try to pretend to be something else. It was just an outdoor piece to promote something. Uh, from a film standpoint, I think Thai films have always traditionally done well. And uh, this year was no surprise yet again, where there were really strong scripts in terms of how the idea was uh, portrayed, how the idea was brought to life. It is still ideas first. It doesn't matter. I mean, you could be in Japan, you could be in Pattaya, you could be in Dubai. And that's, I think, the thing that really binds creatives all over the world. And it's, for sure, the culture will always have a different nuance on how you show up. But I think for creatives, it's always good to really explore the other, uh, different parts of the world and really almost measure yourself against how you're able to keep up with other talents around the world. Because with a new generation of creatives, they, they, they want a sense of ownership right from the get-go. You know, sometimes you know, I, I was brought up from school of thought of, oh, you got to do 40 headlines, and you give me 100 ideas, and blah, blah, blah. But for the new generation, it's, it's not exactly that per se. It's more on encouraging and fostering the environment that allows them to get there on their own. So I think you have to be conscious, for me at least, I have to be conscious on how I approach it with the young creatives. Uh, it's about giving them the space for them to discover themselves and let them be the one on their journey of discovery, we might say. So I think that's, that's the key difference. It's more on like balancing between that hands-off and hands-off approach. <laughs>